calculate the size of angle X. Now, we're told that's 38 degrees there, okay? Um, we could use F angles, Z angles, here, C angles, okay? But a number of things you can notice here, for instance, to begin with, is the opposite angle here is also going to be 38, okay? Because when two straight lines cross, opposite angles are equal. And you can say the same here as well. Two straight lines cross, opposite angles are equal, all right? Now, um, we've got here a Z angle, okay? So if you notice there, put a Z angle here because these two lines are parallel, so that, that means this is also 38. Okay, and then we've got that same idea again, opposite angles are equal. So this angle will be 38. So yeah, we do want X, but it's a case of filling in what we know, okay, and what we can work out. All right. Um, we can also determine this angle as well to be 113 okay, because it's corresponding, it even looks the same. Now what you could do is trace this, or rather trace this bit here, okay, and if you trace that angle there, shift it down and you realize it's exactly the same as that, right, it'll lie perfectly on top. So what we've got there corresponding, but it's an F angle, isn't it? So you see like an upside down F. We could do the same here, this will be another corresponding angle which would be 113 here, okay, and then if you notice here, we've got a straight line, so on a straight line of course, angles add up to 180, so we could work out then what this is going to be, okay, so um, 113 that angle is, take 113 away from 180 because it's a straight line and if you do that if you do the maths on that that comes out to be 67 so we know now those two angles there and of course we've got a triangle haven't we okay so if we know those two angles we've got a triangle we can work out then what this angle is so let's add them together 67 and 38 that comes to 15 Harry 1 6 and 3 is 1 Hey, sorry, 6 or 3 is 9, add the 1 is 10, so 105 degrees. So those two add up to 105, all I've got to do then is take 105 away from 180, and I guess 75. So this angle here is 75, which means then I can work out X because we've got another straight line, okay? So if I take 180 again for that straight line, take 75 away from it, I get X then to be 105, okay? So we've got our angle x, quite simply by working out a lot of other angles on this shape using the properties of f angles, z angles, work our way down and we end up with a triangle here, hence then I can work out my angle x.